Hello, welcome back to this Soldier Insanity playthrough of Mass Effect 2. It is now time to launch the suicide mission and get one of the worst, worst romance scenes possible. <laughs> so let's launch the suicide mission. Let's go through the Omega 4 relay and rescue our crew. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. <laughs> Shepard? Look at this. Like sneaking into the captain's quarters. Heavy risk. But the prize. I was wondering when you'd show. What's your intention, Jacob? To give the collectors every kind of hell I can. Suicide or not. But until then... I want all the time I can get. Win, lose, it doesn't matter. I want you. Sounds like you better make every minute count, Mr. Taylor. Crunches, lots of crunches. <laughs> Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. We'll deal with whatever we find. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. I got room on the Normandy if you're that eager to see it. It's a tempting offer, but it's not my place. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. Approaching Omega-4 Relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, the drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting! Brace for deceleration. Ah, oh, shit! Too close. We 
Well, these must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Has to be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. Taking evasive maneuvers. Yeah, they're just pissing me off. Edie, take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. They want another round? Come on, girl, let's give it to them. on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's go with Morden and Miranda. Morden for incinerate and Miranda for her extra weapon damage and unstable warp. I think she adds like 15% to the squad, specifically to Shepard. We're going with heavy incinerate here. Um, what do we want here? Hmm. I think I'm going to make them a little bit more survivable. And Mary, we don't need overload. I respect her. I respect her because I don't need overload for this mission. And we are going with the cheerleader specialization for the extra weapon damage. Wow, she gets a 25% boost to weapon damage. That's not bad. And... Let's go with that one. And I'm going with the Maddox again, and the Widow, so I'm back to where I was before Legion's mission. Change weapons. Understood. Really? Seriously? heavy weapons to take it. No, we won't. We'll be fine. Engaging. We're sitting ducks out here. I have to try to lose them in the debris field. Our kinetic Barriers are not designed to survive impact with debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in! Come on, find some room! Barriers at 40%. Reroute non-critical power! This is gonna hurt!
Damage report. Kinetic barrier steady at 30%. No significant damage. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. Heavy weapons to take it down. Actually, I think we'll be fine, Miranda. I'm pretty sure we'll be there. okay. Resupply heavy ammunition. Ah! I guess Miranda wasn't fine. <laughs> I imagine it'll stay dead this time. Better get back up here, Commander. We're about to clear the debris field. Miranda, you're right there. How'd you manage to talk over the intercom without moving your lips? There it is. The collector base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. Sons of bitches! Get in close and finish them off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! And this is why Shepard should not be in charge of a spaceship. What does she know about a spaceship? Get in girl. close. Generators are offline. Edie, give me something. Generators unresponsive. All hands brace for impact. And getting close order wasn't very well thought out, now was it, Shepard? Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next? Joker, you and Edie get the ship back online. Miranda, gather everyone else in the briefing room. We need a plan. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. 
You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. If we send a team down each path, they can keep the collectors busy while someone else sneaks in through this ventilation shaft here. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? Well, Jacob, based on how awful that sex scene was, or that romance scene was, I should send you. But I'm not going to, because I want to find out something in Mass Effect 3. So I'm picking a legion. This was going to be a no-casualty suicide run. But there was something I decided I wanted to find out in Mass Effect 3. Legion, you can hack through anything. I'm sending you into the shaft. Acknowledged. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Sorry, Legion. Zaid, you're in charge of the second team. Well, at least he knows what he's doing. And Miranda likes him. But guess what? It's not working. It's not gonna work. Once we're in, they're gonna throw everything they have at us. If we're weak, if we're slow, if we hesitate, we'll die. Eh, I kind of like this one better. Let's go there. The way. collectors attacked our ship. They took our crew, our friends. They think we're helpless. They are wrong. They started a war, but we are not here to finish it. We're here to make them regret. To show them and everyone else what happens when you go too far. No more running and no more waiting. Let's hit them where they live. Yeehaw, Shepard. <laughs> now, based on that romance, and I just sent Jacob through the vents. <laughs> but there's stuff I want to find out in Mass Effect 3 about uh, the Jacob romance. So, Legion's going to be the only one to die. Who do I want? I want Morden for Cryoblast and do I want Morden? Cryoblast would be nice. I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to go with Samara and Kasumi. Yeah. Let's... Samara for Area Reeve and Kasumi Maybe some shadow striking, but definitely flashbanging. So, let's go with deadly shadow strike. Does 100 points more damage. And at this point, her rapid shadow strike is kind of passe because um, she can't one shot even an unshielded regular enemy, so. A full health, unshielded regular enemy, so I'm going to go with Deadly and aim her at bosses. This number here is doubled against uh, shields, armors, and barriers. So that's 200 more points there. So that, we're going that way.
I don't need her in overload, so I'm going to just dump it all into Master Thief. And the power recharge time doesn't work. So we're just going to put it into weapon damage. And then her flashbang. Hmm. I think I'll go for the extra two meters, I think. It won't do as much damage, but it's mainly there for harbinger control anyway. And anybody who can get caught in the blast and have take a little damage, that's fine. Particularly if they're not protected, then they'll be incapacitated for six seconds. So let's go with the improved version. Alright, well that's enough for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to make our way through this base and try to destroy this collector base. Until then, take it easy.